Alrighty, welcome back. Um, okay, I know what we're doing now. I was getting a little ahead of myself in that last video talking about what we're doing with the running and the stuffs. Uh, we're not quite to that. That's the part after the part we're about to do. No, it's not. It's two parts ahead. Sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm rushing through my speed run. Don't worry. Don't worry. It may sound like I don't know what I'm doing, but I do know. I well, Give me the options and I'll tell you. I do know what I'm doing. I just don't completely remember the order in the correct order sometimes until I see what happens. Uh, obviously not, or I would not be using your carriage. God, these people. Okay, so we're going to Markarth. Um, and once again, more running, because we have not quite got to the part where I can stop all this free running. But we're actually... Whoa, I'm... Okay, let me just check here. I got two different map markers. So I want to make sure I'm heading to the right one. Oh no, I'm adding time. What the bloody... Oh no, my game's glitched. This isn't good. Normally I have a map marker of where to go. Oh, I left too soon. I know what I did wrong. Whoop. Okay. So, what I did wrong here... Um, please let them still be talking. Okay. I have to listen to a certain part of this dialogue after I wait that hour before moving on. But, so while we... Just need to check. Okay, we're, we're still playing good on gold. Come on. Come on. Come on. Also, real quick, I'm going to quest... Oh, wait, no, Alan's wall. Whoa. Yep, okay. Come on. If I wait. Whoop. Wrong button. Okay, I'm going to fast forward this till he gets done talking. <laughs> okay. So now that I've stocked up on uh, some more gold, just from stealing things while I wait and that my quest log has been updated. I don't remember it taking quite that long last time. Okay, how did you get out of here before me? Whatevs. Okay. Um, Karth Spire. Okay, we did not discover Mark Karth when we were there. But it's okay, because I found a coin purse that kind of reimbursed me for the first trip up there. <clears throat> Alrighty, so... I've got to remember to... Whoa, whoa. Let me. Oh, huh, I'm on. Need a ride? Yes. I can take you to any of the whole. Yes. Where do you want to go? I know. Mark Earth. Climb and back, and we'll be off. I can't wait here forever. Goodbye, people. I'm not used to having them with me. I've done something different, and I'm not quite sure what. Because like I said, I don't remember it taking the, that long for the dialogue to to go ahead and just kick over to the uh, quest that we're doing. But at least we have the map marker, because I would get hope, hopelessly lost without it. And we're just going to keep on trodden through. Running like a mofo. Bloop! Hello, guard. And goodbye, guard. Um, one thing I really like about the speedrun is, like, you specifically skip the quest that I hate. Like, um, the one where we did the Thalmor Embassy. I absolutely abhor that quest. I don't... There's something about it that it just bugs me on how ridiculous it is. Because I feel like it's set up for a specific type of character. You know, a really good sneaky one. And, like, I was... Whoa! Like I was saying, um at the very start of the series is I really like how Bethesda lets you make your character into what you, whatever you want them to be. 
I hope I'm going the right way. And I just feel like that quest, where it, where it's a main story quest, it really inhibits that. Because, like, no matter what kind of character you play as, you um definitely want to do the main quest at least once with your character and your play style. Because, I mean, it's, it's a freaking main quest, and it's actually one of the better ones from the Elder Scrolls series, I think. Um, but... I don't know, like, when you join the Thieves Guild or the Dark Brotherhood, you specifically know what you're getting into, you know, or the Companions, or, um, the Mages Guild, I always forget about them, because I rarely play as a Mage, like, some of these mods have made me, uh, start playing, <laughs> yes, I was hoping we would find one, look at the little, look at the little guy, oh, that's so adorable, okay, um, oh, with some of the mods it's made like playing as a mage more fun and a little more balanced with you know the magic attributes and everything but vanilla skyrim i mean come on like i just get my ass kicked whenever i try to play as a mage cuz it's like i don't know there's just something totally wrong with something i can't i can't explain it maybe it's just me maybe it's just the way i uh maybe it's the way i play as a mage Okay, let's just... There's no one here. Goodbye, Forsworn, who would totally kill me if I tried to fight. Um, there's also a little glitch here. Whoa, 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 my game is wigging out. Oh god, they they did not follow me last time. Oh god, stop. Whoop, whoop. You probably shouldn't be. I am level one and bas basically naked. Uh, let's just. Whoop. Come on. Come on, drop. Uh, you know what? Screw it. Blop. Juke. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there's a way to bypass these uh, little puzzles that I'm doing, but, like, where I have the puzzles pretty much memorized. Um,. It's just so much quicker for me to actually do them the amount of time it would take for me to get the glitch to work because I've actually not gotten it to work for me. Come on, let me... There we go. Do, 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 do. But yeah. Um... I don't remember what I was saying. I have that happen, don't I? You guys are probably you guys are probably tired of me doing that. I'm sorry. Ooh, a chesty chest. With stuff we probably don't need, but I'm going to go ahead and take all of that. Okay. Well, let's just I'm just gonna like spam weights here. Perfect. Yes. Yes. Let me let me do it. Let me cut myself. Whoa, that joke probably just got a little too real. Can I, can I just, can I just, <sighs> come on. I'd love for them to actually have the Akaviri in a game, like a new Elder Scrolls game that like takes place like way in the past. I think that would be cool because I'm pretty sure, okay, Skyrim, I want to say Skyrim's like a few hundred or a few thousand, one of those two years after Oblivion. Because, like, there is an Elder Scrolls timeline. Despite it being pretty much open world, like, there's a good history of it, and each game does take a, take place during a different era. Because, I mean, like, it would be completely ridiculous for all these dragons and stuff to be going on in Skyrim at the same time as the Oblivion gates being opened in uh, Cyrodiil. Because, like just all of frickin' Tamriel would be just totally fucked. Uh, yeah, Mace Etiquette's not gonna help me. Whoa! I'm gonna take you, 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 you. I am taking that armor because there are just a few battles. So, we are at Alduin's Wall, and I'm going, I am gonna cut this part out because What's next is they're going to be explaining what's on the wall and how to defeat Alduin. 
And like I said, you're not going to be getting a lot of plot in this video series. And for that, I apologize. But, um, I'm just going to go ahead and leave that out so that way we don't have to worry about any editing or needless talking. So, thank you all for watching. Um, hope you all are still enjoying this. I think it's pretty neat. We're making some pretty killer time, I think. And I will see you all in the next video.